so holdout a new game mode we got from the last day of the icebreaker event uh, which is a survival type of uh, game mode where you survive uh, multiple waves of enemies up to nine waves and it's kind of similar to uh, safe house raid you're defending one objective in the uh, this game mode you're defending a civilian and for more waves you clear the uh, bigger the bigger reward is and after each wave you can if you want to you can trade uh, in the uh, you can trade the civilian early to get like the reward you have collected so far, but if you clear all nine waves, you get like a uh, one of the new mega masks they introduced to the game. And uh, what I think about this game mode is it's boring, honestly. Like it's honestly bro boring, just boring. Uh, what I think is nice about it is that it has unique modifier, and e each wave something new get introduced, and apparently they would change this for each weekly each weekly one. Uh, I'm not sure about the random ones, I haven't tried those out yet, I've only done the weekly one this week, which is on the diamond. Uh, this game mode isn't really difficult either, it's very easy to clear it honestly. If even solo it's not that difficult, like solo with AI. You know, it's not pretty really difficult at all, so yeah. Uh, Something I really don't like about this is that for each wave you clear, the higher the uh, damage and health numbers on the enemies get, and it gets to a point where it just becomes stupid, and you know enemies become so bullet spongy. It's it takes the fun out of it, honestly. Also, since it's based on the overkill difficulty, and the over the overkill difficulty have a really high headshot multiplier, makes it so crits are extremely good on this game mode. And since you also want to have some little crowd control, shotguns are also going to be really useful. So, shotgun builds on this game mode is probably going to be the best choice. Um, everything else, it's probably like worse. Maybe the only exception is pistol builds if you really want to have someone in, in the crew to just take out the uh, bulldozers real quickly. But honestly, that's really almost the only thing pistol builds have uh, over shotgun builds. So yeah, crit shotgun builds are probably going to be like the best type of builds uh, for this game mode. Same with like dodge builds or anarchist builds, since you know the uh, damage on enemies getting increased, and you know dodge works no works really well no matter how much damage the enemies deal. And anarchist because you know armor gating and you know two seconds of immortality once in a while, and you can also get stuff like berserk with the uh, frenzy to get a little bit of uh, extra damage. So yeah, there is nothing really interesting about this game, or there's not that much to say about it. Although something that is really, really annoying for, that came from this game mode is that is there's a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs. So let's start off with the ones in the game mode itself. Uh, whenever a cop is trying to uh, free the civili uh, civilian you're defending, if you kill that cop, for some reason he's somehow still freeing that civilian. Civilian, it's it's stupid, and because of that, you are guaranteed to fail whenever that bug happens, and it's really frustrating. When I attempted to get footage from me doing this solo, I did it a lot of times, and I failed every single time because I got that spiritual cop freeing the civilian. And it got uh, it got really annoying to a point where I almost didn't really want to do this anymore. To uh, get the uh, background footage, me doing it. Also, something else that is really annoying with the bugs from this game mode is that the modifiers from this game mode, for some reason, is in the base game in like the normal difficulties. If you are a host, so you know if you get cloaked, you get cuffed. Enemies have more health and. Yeah, it's just all over the place, honestly, this uh, update. And the thing is as well, this update got delayed, so... There was probably more bugs to this update. So imagine this update with even more bugs. And I honestly wish Overkill just didn't release this update yet and actually worked on it more to a point where it's not so goddamn buggy. I'm fine that Payday have a few bugs, I'm fine that Payday crashes every once in a while, fine with that. These bugs, no, just no, they break the game completely, and 
it's really surprising this actually got through playtesting. Like, did they even playtest this? So, yeah. I, I like Payday 2. I don't think Overkill is like bad developers, but this update is just so terrible. Like, they shouldn't have released it in the States, seriously. But yeah, that's my first impressions or first impression and thought about this update. Um, of course, I would like to know what you think about this, so yeah, don't be afraid to comment about it in the comment section, of course. And uh, yeah, I don't have much else to say about this, so yeah, thank you for watching, you know, take care, and yeah.